the best thing was mock sessions for every module there is a mock session that helped me a lot like uh, even though if you attend once one mock session you will at least get to know like uh, minimum 6 to 7 interview questions you will get to know hi guys welcome back to our youtube channel today we have veera with us he recently got placed as our data engineer in phoenix healthcare so he will be sharing his journey with us today so welcome veera congratulations on getting placed uh, finally as a data engineer in phoenix uh, how are you feeling thank you it was an amazing moment for me to get a place in an it industry it was my dream job thank you so veera can you tell us a little bit about yourself what was your education background and everything coming to my educational background i completed my graduation in 2018 as a mechanical engineer in hyderabad like uh, after that i prepared two years for the state level government exams and then uh, i started working as a mechanical engineer in bangalore uh, where i worked for one year and then after i started uh, a ek job course and daily i used to go to the office and at the end i used to uh, study through ek job and after one year i got the result like i got placed in an it test okay veera so right after your graduation you worked as a mechanical engineer after clearing a government exam uh, and then uh, one fine day you got introduced to acquire job and started with your coding journey so can you tell us like what made you interested in learning coding yeah like one of my roommate like one of my hostel mate he was an he was from it background like he was an employee in our company itself he uh, trained from a good job and he got placed in company in some company he, he has some a good job background he suggested me like if you are interested in coding and all you can uh, join in a good job then i just started seeing some of starting videos then i got some interest and there is an some uh, opportunities like pay up replacement and everything after listening that I attended pay up replacement course and uh, I joined in that. So your friend introduced you to Acquire Job, and because yes. he was also working as a software engineer, and you also wanted to switch, that was your motivation behind learning coding. Yes. Great. So you started learning coding with us last year, right? And it's been more than twelve months for you that you uh, got placement, right? So can you tell us uh, what were some of the hardest uh, part of your entire journey? of learning coding uh, and what was uh, the motivating factor behind you know uh, continuing studying coding for this long the thing was uh, for me there is no second option like uh, i have chosen one path and i strictly followed that like and i left my mechanical job there is no okay. second uh, option for me there is only option to practice uh, dsa question and to get placed and find like starting was very difficult for everyone as a mechanical engineer to get into the uh, coding uh, i struggled one or two months starting and then later uh, as usual like the uh, daily instructors uh, uh, made me to learn new things daily that made me easy to get into it yeah, completely so veera you basically practiced a lot of data structures and algorithms related question on a daily basis Uh, right so before uh, getting placed in phoenix how many companies did you actually apply for and were you also applying for companies off campus as well no because uh, as i am 2018 passed out uh, i can't try from outside like uh, the only process i can do was uh, to get placed through echo job itself okay because if i try individually there will be a lot of questions from 2018 what you did <laughs> why are you planning to shift now so the only thing i can do was i can go through echo job so for that the only thing was i had to practice dsa questions daily so in that way i did a uh, dsa questions like okay so you basically completely relied on acquire job for placement services and you being a 2018 graduate there were not many opportunities available off campus as well that was also yes. one of the reasons why you didn't apply 
yes yes got it cool so we are let's talk a little bit about active jobs portal right because that was something which you were using almost every day to solve questions to attend classes right can you like tell us what what was the best part of the whole portal what was the thing that you used the most uh, was it the gym questions that you were using every day or you know doing questions and was it something else can you tell us which was the part that helped you the most in cracking the jobs the best part was uh, the division of the course into the parts like this module has this uh, syllabus and after that syllabus uh, the best thing was mock sessions for every module there is a mock session that helped me a lot like uh, even though if you attend once one mock session you will at least get to know like uh, minimum 6 to 7 interview questions you will get to know even if you tell or didn't tell that's other thing you will get what are interview questions like these will be asked in interviews so it helped me a lot to be frank uh, i gave intermediate dsa placement readiness test from march i gave around 6 to 7 times to cross 9 9 score that is also awesome. that helped me a lot got it so veera i think the thing that helped you the most was the interview mock interviews that mock you were interview. doing. a lot uh, so some of you guys must not be aware of what uh, you know mock interviews he's talking about so i'll let you know a little bit so in akio job student goes through a uh, different different modules right and it is like a hierarchical structure uh, you have to complete or you know you have to give the test of one specific module and then only you can go to the next module and you also have to give an interview so once you clear that mock interview only then you are eligible for the next so uh, veera has given a lot of mock interviews and that was something which helped him a lot in clearing because it is like an exact copy of how the actual interview is going to be right and once someone like that is present uh, you know for you who can actually uh, question you like uh, an interviewer questions you in an actual interview that will also again help you a lot in clearing the real interview i guess right because uh, you can go through that whole situation again and again a lot of times you will yeah. be confident to clear it great so i think mock interview was one of the major reasons behind you clearing this job yes yes so veera uh, now let's talk a little bit about your whole interview experience tell us a little bit how many rounds there were and uh, what kind of questions were asked in your interview like uh, totally three rounds are there okay like firstly they plan like uh, they will take testers in dsa part and then uh, hr round but what happened was later the process has changed they want to test us in advanced level dsa also so mm-hmm. one more round added so completely we gave three rounds mm-hmm. first round we gave one medium level question and one hard level question in dsa okay. which is on link link list and uh, uh, dp okay and after that uh, hr round happened and there again they plan to test us in hard level questions okay so our whole interview journey happened only in dsa they haven't tested any spring boot or anything so you had three rounds first one was a technical round which had dsa questions yes, and sir. second one was an hr round yes yeah, and then the third round they took again where they asked ah, dsa yeah. dsa questions yes okay got it so you went through three it looks somewhat weird but after the hr round uh, they, they again want to cross check us whether and we are skilled or check it with a, even, even a higher level question yes okay got it so uh, were they medium level do you think you were able to crack them in one go or were they giving you some hints so that you are able to at least do some part of it no the thing was a uh, first level test was uh, there is a time limit like within 2 hours you have to complete it like it is uh, not in writing in the system they gave papers to write the code yes. how much you write you want to submit after 2 hours okay. but final level after hr round the last level was they mm-hmm. gave he the vice president sir he directly told like how much time you want you take even one day also i am ready to give the okay. program to run in the system that's it okay that's so it. how many hours did you take to finally solve it hardly i took 4 hours to complete two dsa uh, like one two dsa questions hard level okay and do you think uh, similar questions were also covered in akio jobs curriculum as well yeah similar questions like uh, we have to implement the methods that's it so let's talk a little bit about your uh, you know hr round 
tell us a little bit about that i mean uh, because a lot of the people you know who start with their coding journey they think that learning coding is enough right even if like if they can um, do the logic part and if they can implement it properly they they are through but uh, many companies rely on uh, you know hr round as well just to see how good of a person this is uh, if he can actually communicate about the projects he has done so far and uh, how confident he is while communicating right so what were the questions that were covered in your hr round it happened two ways like hr madam she called us and she literally she tested our uh, how we are speaking and how we are communicating Mm-hmm. and after that we came to the company and your vice president sir uh, he was asking uh, questions based on the previous experience mm-hmm. whether you whether you can handle or he got, he gave many questions like he was like asking what you did here what he was just take, uh, checking our uh, communication skills it's there everywhere hr round will be based on many things they will check many things there so was it like he they were just judging you on your you know english speaking skills or was it something that they just uh, you know they were like looking for someone who is just confident is able to talk about his project or was it a mix of both like did you have projects in your resume yeah, yeah it is there here uh, they didn't bothered much about the projects the okay. way you are uh, telling that mm-hmm. he, he was not interested what you did ha this one you did he was not interested in that Mm-hmm. the way you explain that he listened that whatever it may be right or wrong he listened it clearly mm-hmm. okay it. cool so there was no interview round wherein they asked you about your projects and what have you built so far anything like that nothing happened no no in this company nothing like that they okay. purely it purely based on problem solving skills okay got it so basically they just asked you Uh, a bunch of psa questions and then there was an yes. hr round and yes. nothing like that got yes. it cool yeah so can you tell us like how did you end up feeling once you first uh, got to know that you are finally selected as a engineer in this company i, I felt very happy mm-hmm. firstly the thing was uh, from the february i was jobless like from the february i struggled a lot and the downfall of the it industry recession everything mm-hmm. uh, hitted me hard uh, like few people i would like to thank them few people helped me a lot and I, i felt very happy after that like to get placed in the increase company which is a uh, product based company mm-hmm. it made me very happy and i would like to uh, thank ak job also for this so here yeah, you felt great after uh, getting to know that you got placed can you tell us like what was your parents reaction so to be frank uh, mm-hmm. when i left my mechanical company uh, they was like uh, blank like why this guy left the job uh, without informing us and i thought like uh, acha i get i will get placed in one or two months then a uh, few months i sat and i was practicing advanced or dsa questions and all and they thought like uh, this guy completely uh, went away from the track <laughs> so and then after four months, I told like uh, I got placed in this company and as an IT engineer, and I my salary is this much. Then my father told like uh, I was very happy about that. Uh, we thought uh, uh, you were not in the uh, right way. Now okay. they felt very happy. Like they are now very happy about that. So with you, they have also been very much patient. right throughout yes, this yes, journey yes. and finally uh, they are happy that you have gotten placed yeah ma'am great so have you already joined at this company yeah last month 24th was my joining date okay so how is the experience so far like are you liking the work and everything yeah the workplace was very cool like everyone was very friendly it's okay. a good company great one last question veera i would like to just ask because uh, there are a lot of people out there you know who are coming from a different background completely non it cs some are mechanical engineer some are not even btech right they have either done bsc or bcom and they still want to start their coding journey so what message do you have for them so that they can take care of those things and the journey is a little bit smoother for them to be frank uh, nothing hard like if you follow the structure what ek job ke like monthly completion of the module around if you have lagging classes also till month end you can complete everything 
give the monthly test and sit for the mock that's it uh, i think the person who fails the mocks more no he will have more knowledge like he will give he will get to know more questions aram se we can clear the interview in the same process okay. that's it the whatever the equity job structure it's well and good to crack the interviews thank you so much veera for sharing your inspiring journey with us is there anyone in the archive job team that you would like to thank like uh, i would like to thank few people from echo job and outside the echo job like firstly from echo job i would like to thank my batch manager dhru sharma he was a person uh, who motivated me a lot and uh, narsimha kalyan was the person who suggested me echo job and few people like jay sharma and pankaj kumar were the person i would like to thank them all uh, for their support that's it thank you veera thank you for taking out time and sharing this story with us i hope people watching this find inspiration from you and start their coding journey if you guys want to see more such content you can just stay tuned with us we will be bringing you a lot more stories like this and yeah thank you for your time